But first at five tonight, family dynamics. Whether it's your uncle's off-color jokes or not seeing eye to eye with your cousin's political views, not everyone looks forward to time with family no. over the holidays. But if it's the only way to grandma's shortbreads, you have to face the Christmas music. As Bruce Frisco found out, there are ways to cope so drama doesn't dampen your holiday spirits. Bruce? You're absolutely right, Jay. I spoke with a well-known maritime psychologist today who says there is scientific evidence to suggest that family is the best of Christmas, but also potentially the worst of Christmas because we all wind up in what he calls a forced proximity with people we might not otherwise hang around with. In the comfort of your home, they are sometimes too close for comfort. Bound by blood, family has a knack for saying exactly the right thing at the right time. The, the one-year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. <sighs> oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That it is, Edward. That it is indeed. Welcome to the Amera Oval. Hollywood aside, the Christmas season can be awkward to navigate for some of us, forced to spend time with some family members we wouldn't associate with otherwise. My mother always used to say that you can choose your friends, but you can't pick your relatives. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering if you have any advice for people who maybe have to spend time with, with relatives and they don't really enjoy it that much. Do your best to get along. That's all you can do. I guess I just um, focus on fun and, you know, the quality time with the family rather than difficult situations, you know, around. I think I'm that family member, actually. Are you? Is that right? <laughs> I'm the one that always ruins Thanksgiving, so... <laughs> <laughs> Did you spot well this mom? <gasps> so, what can you do when surrounded by people who know better than anyone how to push your buttons? Experts say step one is ignoring any temptation to seek a storybook Christmas. That's the only place they exist. It's also helpful to assume some responsibility for yourself. In other words, fake it till you make it. It really works. And in assuming that role, you can generate some goodwill. Or you could be pouty and sullen and morose and withdraw, and those actions will have negative consequences. You'll bring others down around you. So, if the looming family Christmas has you feeling the heat, relax, expect the unexpected, and remember, it's just for a few days. It may feel a bit out of your comfort zone, but you'll probably have plenty of company. And you, you're the worst! I'm the worst! This is obviously an issue for a lot of folks. A quick uh, internet search today turns up plenty of advice for dealing with family stress over the holidays. Uh, some other tips you might find helpful. Take uh, regular breaks from those relatives you don't like too much. Try to be empathetic. The person may be kind of stressed out themselves. And here's a really good one that's very simple, actually. If there's someone who really gets on your nerves, give them a job. Give them something to do. It'll keep them busy and keep them out of your hair. Something to think about, uh, Jay, Maria. Yeah, Bruce, those uh, breaks, I, I think that's really key. You, you don't want to make them any longer than maybe two to three years, though, <laughs> yes, Tops. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's CTV's Bruce Frisco reporting live in studio tonight. Thanks, Bruce. And that reminds me, you're on eggnog duty this year, right? Um, okay. Yeah. You could be in trouble if, you, <laughs> if I am.